Hey everybody, this is Box of Delights. This is episode five. This episode is called Beware of Yesterday. Now, at the end of the last episode, we found out that Pat, Caroline Louisa, probably the bishop, probably Barney Dog, and Kay's friend Peter are basically all being held within the cellar of this country house where everything is basically going down. So today's episode, I'm assuming, is we should get these guys out of the cellar. But I'm quite looking forward to watching this one. Um, I've watched these so, so quickly. I think I've literally... I've only had this like two days and I'm already on this episode. So it's quite frightening that I've watched it this quickly. But I think it's because I've enjoyed it so much. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting further on into the story. Seeing how they wrap this up as well. Because there's only one more episode left after this. So let's just go. <laughs> Look more closely. Yeah. Show mm. his tomb at Palm. Doesn't mean he's in it. But he must be 500. If we could get hold of this Lixir thing, is it like a cough mixture? Oh and my put God. it on the market, I reckon. The box has disappeared either at yeah. Sea Kings, perhaps at the Bishop's Palace at Dachester. Been held every year for a thousand years. Mm -hmm. Naturally, they'll do everything to see that it goes ahead. And the reward of a thousand pounds for the return of the bishop. That's probably quite a lot of money back then. With for all the rest. It's 25 quid even for a choir boy and we... I think this guy might fall, you know. There's one thing I can't understand, boss. I, I cannot for the life of me understand. Paulings would entrust the greatest magic device of all time to an insignificant brat. It's nonsense! He did. My other persona. Yeah. As the Reverend Boddledale. <laughs> right. I shall also be here at half past two. You'll find the missing clergyman there. I'm sure you will. Have you run on about that college, Master? He never locks Now, this is what his own in. Inspector, come along. We need every man we can get. Oh, things are on foot. Cripes! He cannot get it out of his mind that the Reverend Bottledale of our Glee Club is a master crook. <laughs> Nonsense, boy. Eat your bullseye. Okay, any news of Peter? He's in a cell. Are we going back in? Wow! But Arnold of Turdy went back into the past and has been lost in it somewhere ever since. Oh, God. Couldn't I find him? But you cannot take it with you. Yeah, that's the. He who dares that's goes at thing, his own risk it? and must find his own way back. I'll take that risk. Be careful. The you that goes oh. will cast no shadow. It's covered in snow, though. I genuinely think this program is magnificent. Another of them. Not going to go into the water. Once is before, he? when we came upon a barbarian of this sort, how did we deal with him? We marooned him. Is the boat going to disappear? Because they can just use it to get back. It isn't now at all that's here. Oh. No, but next. Next year Has he gone worse. mad? Like... Or did now happen long ago? Long, long ago? And was tomorrow yesterday? Or has it been and gone today? It is well known the English have tails. The English haven't got tails? You have not, so you are not English. I've got quite lost in time. Yeah, you could say that I again. Know, sir. You are Arnold of Toady. I was. Offer me his elixir of life yeah. in return for my box. He's now being I refuse to give it. 
And now I know not where it is nor where I am. And has caused no end of trouble in my own time and in my own town. If you would only come and take it back into ancient time... I do not want that box! Cross and you, I must say, are an impertinent, ignorant and insolent boy. Back will you never be found! This guy is actually mental. I said while you was off giving your sermon to the pensioners, I've made up my mind. I didn't know you had a mind to make up. Why don't you use your magic to find the missing box? Oh. What do you want with me now? You're very near to it. You shall have it under your hand today. Under my hand? You want Is he like a sprite or something, this, this guy? Yeah. What's in this blessed box? I think you and I should... Take a little walk. Jaw's dead. There's all the choir boys. My dungeons. <sighs> but I am stubborn too. And the earth is stubborn. Oh, see your skeleton. Step inside and see if his bones are still there. Oh, yes. It's going to lock you in, Jaw. Under my hand, I shall have the box today and enjoy your jewels. Oh, God. Do it today. Flit off to some far country and let the others go. Do I take Sylvia? Probably not. My pizza? When I have decided about Sylvia, one last. It's funny. Shit can't happen. Charles. <laughs> about to oh, get shit. off and leave me in the lurch. <laughs> well, uh, what? Not to put too fine a point on it, Sylvia. He may be back at any moment. You can say that again. Only a bit of rag. A bit of jewellers cleaning rag or some such. There. And now, away. That episode was all over the place. Like, there's so many, like, double crossings going on in this. It's, it's an interesting one. I really enjoyed it, though. I love that we got back into the forest. And I love that we went and saw the man and met the man who created the box, although he was slightly unhinged. So I can understand why. Obviously, he's he's kind of gone into the past maybe because he knew he couldn't handle the power of the box. I'm not too sure. Maybe that gets resolved in the last episode. But it's been a bit weird because we've only had Pat in episode one. And I'm just like, where's Pat? Where's Pat? And we want, we want Barney Dog back. Um, but I am really excited to see how this one concludes now that everything's kind of going against Abner. So I might just go watch the last part and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.